This is BBC World News, I'm Owen Zone and here are our top stories. Dr Phineas Taggart has been discovered dead in his very own lab with black blood pouring from his eyes. Detectives believe that he created the Stitch Wraith who has claimed some more victims in the nearby area. Dr Talbert has made a statement about the death of his close friend and co-worker. Ever since my daughter Ranel left my arms, I felt completely empty. The agony of losing a loved one is a horrible feeling like no other, and all that's left of you are the remnants of our memories of one of the greatest scientists of our time. Rest in peace, old friend. Only a small population of America seemed to remember the Felix the Shark animatronic from Freddy's, and it's recently been found that it did in fact exist, though nobody seems to remember the dead body floating around the pizzeria's tube. Now this story is hard to swallow. Last week a schoolgirl by the name of Marley went missing after visiting Freddy Fazbear's pizza kit factory. Another one bites the dust, we all said, until Marley came back when yeast expected, saying it was all just a prank, bro. Meanwhile, Dread was eating up fellow student Peyton, who wasn't putting up with the trauma. Going nuts, she ended up dead on her doorstep. I'm sure the factory will choose to, uh, to stop school trips from now on. This story is so melancholic. It really has stolen a piece of my heart. Now, last week, scientists discovered that our water was infected by strange bunny creatures. Unless you've been living under a rock, you know that there is a global H2O crisis. Of course, you have been living under a rock, otherwise you'd be dead. Uh, here are the statistics. We have 1,280 million deaths, and that is only going to increase if you drink a drop of water, step in a puddle, or have an ice cube in your beverage. Make sure to social distance from all forms of water at all times. I like to pretend that I'm in a springlock suit so that if I become moist in any way, my entire body will just get thrashed by interlocking mechanisms. Now, on the official BBC Faz News Twitter, we asked for your opinions on what drink you are resorting to now that water is out of the question. 87% of young people responded with fizzy faz, while 83% of adults said absinthe. We also asked how you shower and go to the toilet safety. We have a Hudson who said, I don't go to the toilet, I just pee my pants. Thank you, Hudson, for getting in touch with us to tell us that. Today we have Dr Ozoni Zone with us in the studio to remind us all on how to be more safe around water and to talk about his new book titled H2NO. Dr Ozoni Zone, welcome. Now, can you explain to us some of the biggest problems that you've been facing with the recent outbreak in rabbit rain? Well, in terms of personal problems, I have been showering myself in milk even though I'm lactose intolerant, uh, but at the end of the day we are all hydrophobic now, so milk will have to do. And in terms of large-scale, long-term problems, uh, global warming is high up on the list, the ice caps will melt, the sea levels will rise, and we will all be reincarnated as sea bunnies. When going outside, how can the public protect themselves from water as best as possible? Social distancing is the best way. Uh, make sure you are at least six feet away from water at all times. We will also be selling some full body suits that are fully protected from all outside liquids. Just don't touch water. Okay, so what is your new book about? It is all about what we are really protecting ourselves from in this day and age. Water is the most life-threatening thing on our planet, and it is all because of a single microorganism that has reproduced billions of times. The book delves deep into the science of the sea bunnies and the extensive process of experimentation we have gone through to try to understand and comprehend the force at hand. Okay, thank you Dr. Ozone Zone once again for joining us today. What are you going to spend the rest of your day doing? I am going to keep finding solutions to our problems, but first I need a lukewarm milky shower. Sounds lush. We're going to quickly go to a commercial break. We will be right back to report on the rain hours. See you then. With the Fazbear Fun Time Service, you'll never be alone again. Feeling lonely? Freddy will cheer you up. Too warm outside? Get the puppet to do your gardening. Don't have a date for homecoming? Chica will come with you. 
By downloading our app today, you're just one step closer to Foxy knocking at your door. We deliver your favorite robots to your own home and you can make them do whatever you need them to do. The new Friendly Face animatronics will help you to recover from the grief of a lost pet. Ralpho the Bunny will play a prank on your family and wake them up early in the morning. The Blackbird will intimidate your friends and, and make them, them tell you their darkest secrets. All it takes is one click of a button to download the app and join our new service. The Mini Renas will make sure you're never hungry. Shadow Bonnie will always be there to protect you. Afton will always come back. Also introducing customizable animatronics. You can burn them, freeze them, drown them, melt them, westernize them, virtualize them, boil them in acid, or turn them into a tree. This comes with additional costs, but it's totally worth it. Of course, you could just set them on fire yourself, but we want to make sure we monetize all possibilities so that we can retire early. Go to our website today to find our weekly newsletters and make sure to keep your doors open, because with the Fazbear Funtime service, you'll never be alone again. Hello everyone, my name is Oxygen and this is the Fazbear Forecast. I'm here to report on the rain hours for the next few days, so let's put it on the screen now. So this evening from 5pm to 8pm there's going to be some heavy rain, so there's going to be a 3 hour lockdown. Tomorrow morning from 12 to 6am there's going to be some lighter rain, so I suggest keeping your doors shut and checking outside with a flashlight to see if it's safe. Later in the day at... 12.80? Is that even a time? There's going to be continued rain, but we don't know how long for. And oopsies, my dentist appointment at 2.30 is on here. My mistake. Of course, make sure to stay safe, adhere to the rules, shower in milk, and of course... Go outside. Alright, that's my segment over. Back to you, Mr. Zone. Breaking news! The entire world is being taken over by sea bunnies and they are quickly engulfing the population and taking their bodies. They could be in your local store, they could be in your home, they could be in this very studio. I'm also being told that they have mutated to travel through everyday liquids such as sodas and milk. Let's hope our scientists didn't take that milky shower. The way you can tell if somebody is an imposter is by looking at their neck. If you see any blue visible on their neck, they are a fake human and you need to get away from them. Scientists are working really hard on a cure, but until then, don't panic, look at the necks, run away, stay calm. So, for our final segment on today's news, we are actually going back to Dr. Ozone Zone to talk more about biology and how the aquatic apocalypse could eradicate humankind. Hello Doctor, how was your shower? I lactose. Ha! How cheesy. Okay, we butter stop utterly milking this and move on. Now, your book H2NO is great. It's absolutely legendary, but could you explain to us how exactly the sea bunnies are breaching into our life forms and why? Well, you can say it is apocalyptic, but really it is all totally under control. We have had similar life forces before that have been able to replace the body cells of living entities and we have been able to control them and experiment with them ethically. One of these we have coined as Fazgu and it is so safe, we are actually selling it as part of Freddy Fazbear's Mad Scientist Kit. Sea bonnies, as we call them, are completely safe and everyone should step outside this evening to embrace the rain and replace the pain. But in your book, you discuss that water is one of the biggest threats to humanity. What has changed your viewpoint and what has made you come to this new conclusion? They taught me everything. Okay, well you all heard the tear first. It's now completely safe to go outside. Make sure to stay hydrated and sanitize yourself. That's all for today. We will be back tomorrow for more news updates. But for now, I've been Owen Zone. Have a great day and goodbye. <laughs>